Hey everybody, this is Peetaboo playing more Pokemon Blue, glitching Pokemon Blue, and before I start, let me turn down the volume a bit, because it's kind of loud for me, and also before, let me apologize for not making a bunch of videos recently, I've had a bunch of stuff going on in real life, you know, that place where not really a whole lot of good stuff happens, I mean, come on, we're making videos for the internet, we gotta stay on the internet and all that good kind of stuff. But seriously, um, just had to take care of a few things, and, uh, hopefully you all can understand my prioritizing of my life, because, as you all know, people on the internet are very quick to not do that, and I, I gotta assume that you people are all exactly the same hate-filled people that you see everywhere else. In other news, I am playing Pokemon Blue, and last time we defeated, uh, Koga of Fuchsia Gym, I was gonna say... I don't know what I was going to say because I all of a sudden forgot the name of Koga's daughter, which is the gym leader in Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal, but her name's Janine now that I know what it is, but I don't know what I was going to say then because it was not going to be Janine, I know that. Anyway, we defeated that and we learned a very important move for our friend Jolteon, which is, of course, the move um, Pin Missile because... We are going to Saffron City right now, and Saffron City is well known in the Pokemon universe for being very, very difficult, at least the gym part of it, in uh, the first generation of games, because Psychic, being the type of that gym, it was also very, very overpowered, and it kind of sucked to have to face a Psychic-type po psychic Pokemon unless you had one that was specifically made pretty much to counter it. Uh, in this generation, that happened to be pretty much... Jolteon. <sighs> and after a 25 or so minute interruption, I'm back. I completely forgot what I was going to say. So, let's just go into the gym because we needed to use walkthrough walls because of that rocket there who will not move until we have defeated the self company. Uh, let's switch out our Pokemon. Um, so I actually forget how to get through this. I think. You do this, and then down, no, that's not it, um, yes, and then you go down here, and that's how you get to the boss. So, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to beat all the trainers in the gym, and I'll probably either speed through or just sort of do a little cut till we get back to Sabrina, but uh, I do want to get all the trainers for experience, and that's what I'm going to do, so... See you at Sabrina. So, of course, some of the uh, trainers here just sort of have Pokemon that don't really fit a Psychic Gem, for whatever reason, I don't know.
And here we are, back at Sabrina. I've leveled up my Pokemons a little bit. Um, let me see what I have. Do I have any... really good healing items? Not really. What is the TM38? That's Fire Blast, you yeah. know? I don't need that. That's another, that's another thing I can just sell. So let's face here Sabrina. In uh, Pokemon Yellow, she was actually really... Really, I don't know if it's tougher or not because she had a level 50 uh, Abracadabra and Alakazam. While in this version, her Pokemon are considerably weaker, but all of approximately equal uh, strength. So, as we can see, Pin Missile just completely destroys anything that isn't bulky, like say uh, Hypno or something. Uh, Kadabra goes down very easily. Mr. Mime looks very, very, very creepy. Uh, and then I miss. And it looks even creepier when it's using Light Screen, by the way, which is wonderful. So we use... Oh, wow, a critical hit. As I've said before, critical hits in Generation 1 for multi-hit moves, kind of broken. All, all uh, attacks would end up being critical hits, essentially. And for some reason she has a Venomoth, which is neither Psychic nor Psychic. It is actually, uh, what, Bug and Poison, I believe? But, uh, Thundershock seems to be doing quite enough. Tried to paralyze me at the same time that I paralyzed it, but it was not able to, and then I defeated it with a critical hit. Uh, as I said before, again, I say things a lot, repeatedly, um... Critical hits in Generation 1 were based entirely on your Pokémon's base speed stat, which for Jolteon is fairly high, I believe 130, something like that. And basically, uh, your chance of getting a critical hit for normal moves would be your base speed stat out of 512, which is uh, great. Which would mean I have a chance of about a little over 25% per move. At, uh, 130. Oh, great, great. And the best part is that he can use it an infinite number of times while I only have six more pin missiles. Isn't that wonderful? I should probably actually stop using pin missile until, um, until Reflect goes away. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Probably just stick to Swift for now. Uh, I should also maybe heal. I suppose this will give me a good reason to heal. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good reason there when it gets a critical hit on me. Uh, again, Alakazam also has a very high speed stat and thus um, has a very high chance of getting a critical hit. And um, when you use a, an attack that has a high critical hit ratio, such as Slash, um, it actually goes down to, well, up to your base speed stat over 64, which means that someone like, um, Jolteon here, whose base speed stat is higher than 64, it sort of makes it, yeah, Jesus, I know it, I know it, it basically makes every single hit a critical hit except for a 1 out of 255% chance, and... Yeah, yeah, this is what happens. Does Reflect ever go away? I don't actually know that. Um, that's something that I don't really know. I think I'm going to use, uh, what's it called right here? Pin Missile, try to get a high number of hits. Come on, four, please, no, okay. As long as this doesn't confuse me. No, it's Psy Beam that can confuse me, not Psy Wave. So, theoretically, I should hit. And I should beat him. Good job. Alright. I didn't need a critical hit there. Huh. That took a lot longer than it really needed to. So. We defeated Pokemon. And, yay. Up to level 70. That doesn't really matter. Uh, that's great. I don't think whatever she gives me is rather important, considering I am an electric little dog-type creature. So I won't even bother with whatever she's going to give me. It's pretty great. Um, what am I doing? I always forget the way back. I don't know. I always forget 
What the heck? Ah, uh, man. I don't know why I forget the way back all the time, but this is also why we need Abra here, because as you can see, we're sort of stuck, so... Oops, wrong one. Let's teleport. And this should bring us back to Fuchsia City, where we'll be able to continue our adventure. I'm going to heal up and get the rest of my Pokemon out. Uh, not in that order, apparently. So which Pokemon do I have? I don't actually remember. This is kind of weird, because I haven't played in a long time. Um, I don't even remember which ones are useful. This guy has Dig. That's useful. Maybe. Does Doduo have Fly? No, because I don't have Fly yet, that is correct. But I will need it for Fly. And I will need this guy for Cut. I'm so used to doing the games in the correct order that I just kind of expect to have Fly at this point, but I don't. Alright, so I need to heal. And... I think now we need to... We need cut. Uh, in order to get cut, however, we need... Uh, I also don't have a bicycle, which is somewhat annoying, but, you know... Whatever. Uh, first, I'm gonna go heal. Uh, heal. I'm gonna go sell some items, and then I'll be back. And we'll go where we're going next. Alright. Now that I've healed, uh, I keep saying healed, I don't know why. Now that I have sold things and bought things that I need, most of which is, like, revives, just in case Jolteon happens to faint, and as well as full heals and super potions, I think now it's time to go back to... Uh, do I have... No, I don't, actually. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll be back. Alright, forgot what I forgot. And now that we have everything, we're going to... I didn't really need to stop for anything. I could have got picked it up in uh, Vermilion City, which is where we happen to be going. So since this route pretty much goes straight there, it's just one little turn, I think I'm actually going to skip ahead and... Yeah, unless I run into something spectacular, which I doubt I will. I think I'll meet you guys in Vermilion City. So see you there. All right, here in Vermilion City, um, in order to get to the gym here, we need Cut. Uh, we could use Surf, but you know what? I think we should get Cut first. But in order to use Cut, we will need to go actually to Cerulean City and face the boss person there. So let's go to Cerulean City and on the way, talk a little bit. So, this will be the first two badges, I believe, that are going to be done in the correct order, for the most part, for certain values of the word correct and order. And also, um, Saffron City's just sort of... I wish I could have been in the Pokemon Center there, because that would have saved a lot of time, now that I think about it, if I could just teleport there. But as you can see, Mr. Team Rocket Guy is still there. I don't want to go to the Fighting Dojo place, because I don't really see any need to get either Hitmonchan or Hitmon Lee. Um, they just seem sort of useless, especially Hitmonchan. He learns like four moves, or five moves. He learns Comet Punch, which is a multi-hit move, and is a normal type, making it pretty much worthless. Um... He learns Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch, which would be amazing, except for the fact that his special attack sort of sucks and is pretty awful in every single way. Um, I forget if I have faced these guys, but what am I doing? We're gonna face Misty while surfing, because that's the way we do. And uh, Hitmonchan also learns Counter, which is a good move, except that you're gonna have to be you're pretty much betting on your opponent attacking with a uh, physical move rather than a special move, which, of course, if you're facing a Hitmonchan, you're not going to do. You're going to attack with Psychic. Also, 
This gym is going to be very, very, very slightly one of the easiest battles in the game. Um, considering I outlevel them by about 30 levels, uh, yeah, it's kind of... Oh, look, exactly 30 levels. Yeah, so uh, Misty, not at all a problem in this, uh, this run-through. That is not surprising, although it did make me grow a level. That, that means something, correct? <laughs> wow, you're too much, yes. That's what happens when I have a Pokemon that's 30 levels higher than you. Oh no, up to level 30. I'm actually not sure if that, um... Okay, stop, please. Please stop. Okay, cool. I'm not actually sure if that level 30 overwrote the level 70 before. Probably not. Probably not. But it is entirely possible. I probably should have gotten the bike voucher while I was in Vermilion City, but since we're going there anyway, we might as well just... Take a little stop there and get that. Um, I think actually what I'm going to do is stop here. I somehow turned without moving. That was kind of odd. I'm going to stop here. And next time I will meet you right back here. I will have the bicycle. And we will travel on to Vermilion City and have a little bit of fun there. But for now, this has been Petey Boo, Glitching, Pokemon Blue, and I will see you then. Goodbye.